Hey you guys, so today we are going to be um, organizing the pantry. Um, I came to realization when we went grocery shopping yesterday, um, which was Saturday, and today's Sunday, I'm just realizing this stuff is just overwhelming, it's cluttered, I can't really tell like what we all have in here, I have to stand here for a couple of minutes to see like what snack I want or what I want to grab out of here. We have boxes of chips, we have oil down there, juice, juice boxes, coal for um, the grill, we have extra tissue that can't fit in the bathroom, we put in here, paper towel, uh, water, sodas, um, other waters, flavored waters. Gatorade, Izzy's, it's just, it's, it's stuff everywhere. And it's like, it's time to get organized, you guys. So I am going to go to Target. I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. And I am also going to go to the Cassandra store. Um, and maybe even Walmart. I think I'm going to try Walmart. I, already, I shop at Walmart and I didn't see any containers. But I may try a different Walmart just to see. Because I, I love Walmart. I'm a Walmart girl. But I know Target has a lot of good containers right now. And the container store is going to have everything. So you guys stay tuned. And look, I have cleaning stuff next to the flower. Like, I need to get this under control. So um, stay tuned, you guys. I am going to be organizing this. And... Um, making this a better place, <laughs> making this a better pantry. And I ordered um, some stuff. For, first of all, I went to Target, and then I ordered some stuff from Amazon. And then I also got these baskets from at home because I couldn't find them in these sizes at Target. So today, I am going to take all of this stuff out of here. And then I am going to clean it out. I'm going to put um, each bin in here in place where I, you know, want it to be. And then we're going to go from there. For cereal, anything you really want, like a dispenser. So I open it up to make sure <laughs> that it's not cracked. And me having butterfingers, I dropped it and cracked it. So it came good. But I end up cracking it right here. Which is not a big deal because it's a black piece that it's gonna fit in, and all the rice is gonna this is gonna be a rice holder for me. And I want to put it over there. And a box, as y'all see over there, that is going to be my cereal dispenser. But I just thought that was so funny. I was trying to check it to make sure it's not cracked. And I cracked it, which is cool. Just going forward, I'm going to make sure I'll be extra careful with it. So this is that. By the way, my cats are going super crazy over these boxes. So I'm going to have to move these boxes to the garage soon after this. And then, like I said, I got these from at home. I got three of the, I think these are large ones. And then this is an extra large. This was $12.99. And these ones at the bottom were $9.99. Target did not have these size. The sizes they had were way smaller. So thankfully at home they have them because Target has these a sack. Same exact baskets. And those are going to go towards the bottom of my pantry for like my bottles of water and my uh, paper towel, my cat food.
can see the entire kitchen is like a hot ass mess right now. There's stuff everywhere, but I'm gonna get that up as soon as I can. Get out of there. No, no. I'm putting the food back in there later. It's gonna be organized. Oh, no, 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 not this. This is his favorite thing. Okay, you guys, so now that the pantry is completely cleaned out, everything cleaned out, I am going to wipe all of this down. I'm going to vacuum this. I bought a new vacuum from Amazon. I need cardboard. That looked like a bug at first. That would have freaked me out. Okay, so um, I'm going to vacuum all of this. I'm going to also um, do a quick um, Swifter mop in here. And then... We're gonna start putting the baskets in for the bin. swiffered the floor floor um i first vacuumed it and then i used the swiffer and then i had to power wash these like counters or the tops in here the baseboard whatever you call them i had to power wash them because they were sticky and dirty and had food built up so i did use some power don and then i eventually got some don soap with my scrubby and then once i scrubbed everything down i then went ahead and grabbed um my disinfectant spray now um so that area right there that's just paint that peeled um so there's nothing really i can do about that so um it's clean the entire pantry is clean and ready to be restocked so here we go <music> This is the three 
uh, large bins at the bottom or I'm going to put um, water, paper towel, tissue. And then this one here is going to be the cat food and cat stuff. And then right in the middle, I'm just going to keep that empty just in case I have something super large that just like is high and needs to sit out. Um, so this is how I got it stacked up as of now. This is what we're working with. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started with putting all the food, drinks, and paper towel, everything where it needs to go. By the way, you guys, I forgot to mention in the beginning, I did actually map out my um, pantry. And then I wrote down where I want the foods to go. So I'm going to go off this list and then stack. And I realized that I was a little bit off the first video because I'm like, what's missing? Um, so these three larger ones are going to line up across. And there's going to be three Lazy Susie's, um, Susans on the um, like corner, inner corner area. And then these down here, I want to put extra drinks in. And then up here will be like my canned goods. And like any other um, like fruit cups and fruit snacks so that's how I wanted it and then this clear empty space here is gonna be those jars I'm going to actually put a couple of them on that lazy Susie so I can spin it around and the other ones are going to be lined up here and those are gonna be like flour sugar things like that at the top I want to leave that empty for um, I'm gonna put my lunch bags back up there and then it's going to be empty for, uh, I don't know what yet, but I want to keep that cleared out for right now. Um, so this is how we're looking. And then now we can go ahead and get started. All right.
extremely disappointed um after unwrapping the cereal container these are i was going to use for a pasta and cereal the bottom one is cracked it came cracked so i was honestly going to use two for cereal one for pasta it comes with the pen and then the other two containers are inside of here y'all can see that but yeah i'm gonna send this back i'm gonna send this one back Ugh, i'm not even okay there we go <sighs> it's so annoying and this is why it's hard ordering plastic wear off of amazon because this is the risk you take the deliverers are so rough with your packages you know it's just it sucks but it's all good i'm going to pack this down return this we're still working with these so i'm gonna go ahead and wash each um one of these I have eight of these large ones large glass ones and then I have two of the very small ones. And the small ones came two in a pack for five dollars. The large ones five dollars at Target. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it and then I'm gonna just keep it moving. <laughs> not just to sanitize these um glass jars and the inside of this one i actually found this i don't know if y'all can see it i'm gonna put it here it's like a piece of plaster plaster glass or plexiglass so it's so important to wash these because not only you know are they you know dirty well i'm not gonna say they're necessarily dirty but it is always good to sanitize and clean jars or dishes that you get from the store um you may find stuff like this so just showing y'all that. Oh my gosh, it's Brandon. 
complete um everything is actually looking really nice it looks really neat i can see where everything is only thing is i do want to get bins for this top row here um just because i want to break these boxes down i feel like these boxes are still taking up a lot of space and then going forward i usually like to buy big bulks like this like this is vinegar whole thing of vinegar oil i'm going to actually start downsizing and getting them like this so that they can fit in the um, pantry comfortably and so yeah um, some of the stuff is down here um, that I'm going to put up there um, so rice I still have a bunch of rice left um, the hot chocolate I'm eventually put up these box of chips was not open and plus we still got half a box of chips from there um, cornmeal extra um, variety packs of oatmeal um, these are my mom's <laughs> Her zebra donuts. I want to try some of those. And these are mine. These are my um, powder donuts. Um, back here is like powder Kool-Aid or the Kool-Aid mix rather. Um, over here, um, I did put the tissue, paper towel, water, cat stuff. So you got cat food and treats and then their bowls. They're a huge water bowl when I go out of the um, state. So... This is how it's looking as of now. Um, I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Once I hit the store today, I'm going to go to Walmart and Target to see if I can find bins um, to fill that up, break those down, and then that's going to be it. Okay, you guys, so I ran to Target to grab these mesh bins. I got this one from Walmart. Now, originally, I was going to Walmart to get black plastic bins that are similar to these. Online, they said they had them in the store, but they were sold out. And then Target, of course, is next door. So I seen these, and I thought these were really cute. But Target, um, on the, the rack, or where it was, it was saying that these were um, $8. So I'm like, okay, that's a steal. So why when I check out, it's not $8 or $14 so double i was so annoyed but i'm like i already fell in love with them so i just grabbed them i really was trying to be budget friendly with this um pantry but hey uh, what i love about it most is they are high up so if i stack stuff in there they shouldn't be falling out and you can see right through it still it looks really cool that um bin or that little round basket there from walmart I'm not really a fan of the little strips or like the straps because they look pretty cheap. They're like this brown, like fake pleather, uh, but it is what it is. So I got it tucked up at the top. Um, that was $12. Um, so I guess whenever you purchase the wire baskets, they just cost more. Um, now this basket I also got from Target. This was $15, which is crazy because these were only like, I think like $12 off Amazon. They were like, 12 13 dollars i guess when it comes to wire i think it just costs more so if you're going to do your pantry if you want wire just expect to pay a little more you get like the plastic bins you can find those as low as five dollars guys also i went to dollar tree and i bought i bought another one of these spongy um holders because one of them that i had i broke um being too rough when i was washing my dishes um i think it was like a potter pan and i kind of like pushed it against this piece here and it broke it in half um so i'm gonna keep two of these in one um sink that way the other sink i can use for washing dishes the other one is for soaking or for rinsing and then i also got some of these chip clips i got about five of these so that um, i can close up my chips and of course that's for these chips because right now like of course this is not open um i have some old like hair clips um, on these, which is probably not the most sanitary thing to do, but it kept the chips closed for me. So, um, I'll be back with the final results once I fill these up. Baby, 
look um of the pantry so at the top i forgot to grab cereal containers and i'm kind of glad i didn't because i didn't realize how many open cereal we have so we're going to eat through those and then i'm going to be able to fit three cereal containers in there in the future um this is the plastic wear extra plastic wear now originally i had this up there but this is pretty heavy and for it to be you know up there it's just a tight squeal it's just hard to get it down so this is much easier i put one of the lazy susans that i bought and then it's the vinegar on there the large vinegar and then um the virgin oil that's left over in there i put the other two virgin oils right on the side of of it here i actually had to combine all the snack foods together um because it just made more sense and then these are the extra chips um uh, these i uh, uh, stacked which is string beans on the bottom and then corn at the top um i have pasta bag and croutons in here and here is flour um cornmeal and then an extra large bag of rice which i can't believe i still have extra rice but here is the Nestle Quick, um, like just chocolate milk uh, mixing or powder. Then I have baking powder, brown sugar. Back there, I got some popcorn um, kernels. And then I have back there, pencil beans in that jar right there. And all of these jars were $5. These two were $5 together as a set. And then $5 each for those. Um, I have pack of noodles. This is chicken. This is beef. I have macaroni boxes at the top is um, the hamburger helper lasagna for cheese and then stroganoff, two stroganoffs here. I have some grits here tucked on the side. I have um, pancake mix and syrup, um, which is here. Um, I have pop tarts and oatmeal mix, cookies, rice, flour, cornmeal, sugar. These are just extra condiments. And then um, here I got snacks, more snacks. So these are like just an open bag of chips and then donuts that we were eating. Um, this is popcorn and peanut butter and then some peanut butter cups back there. Um, this is where we do the plastic wear. Um, here in this household, we do not like washing dishes. And I mean, I do have a dishwasher, but um, why waste the water? <laughs> when you can use plastic-ware. Um, and then I have the Lazy Susie, or Susan here, where you can grab whatever you're looking for, things that are already open. So things that's already open, we're just going to keep here so we can rotate it, grab it, and move on. Um, some chips here. Then I have goldfish here, fruit snacks there. Uh, we have fudge rounds and honey buns here. 
here are like some um, bottled water or like flavor water. Gatorade. This is for the girls. They're um, juice pouches. Back there is two large things of juice, two apple, two lemonade. Um, we have some Sprite here. Extra Sprites. Um, Izzy's. Some more Sprites. Um, Pepsi, Cherry Pepsi. At the bottom here is the cat stuff. And it's just pretty much their water bowls. This large bowl I usually use when I go out of town. Fill it up with water so they won't run out. Um, extra food bowls. A little cup to dip into their food bags. Food, treats, tuna. I have extra sodas here. Which I'm actually... I think... No, I'm going to leave it alone. Um, but once I run out of Sprites or get low on Sprites, I'm going to then fill this up with the Orange Sun Kisses. This is tissue over here, but it has some extra napkins that I just tucked in here because it, it all fits and it's uh, put away. And then in this bin here, this is just paper towels. I have paper towels here, bottle waters here. And then that is it. That is the full restocked, organized pantry. So this is my first time doing a pantry organization. So it took me a little time. It took me two days to complete. And then I... Okay, you guys. So my phone died and I'm using my DJI right now. Um, so where I left off is that we ran out of... Um, well, I ran out of these. I ran out of the little labels like the... Um, clip-on labels that I got from Amazon so I am going to have to order some more I kind of think I'm good I don't think I'm gonna order anymore because it just makes sense that's the beautiful thing about the wire bins with the wire bins you can literally see what goes where and what is what so I honestly think I'm just gonna leave it alone um, I'm gonna think on that because I think I need about like 10 more of those labels and that is it, you guys. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.